Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhai. Welcome to another episode of Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Collado Ortega Anderson, and we come to your home every Tuesday at 12 noon. We uh, hope to uh, fulfill our mission, fivefold mission, to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and empower. Today we have a very special guest. It's an extended part of my Ortega family, and she's very well known in our community. Um, she, she doesn't need any formal introduction. Uh, her name is Baby Hofana Ablan. Uh, she's currently the Vice President of La Union Circle of Hawaii, which was founded by the late Auntie Annie Corpus, and also serves as a public uh, uh, PR manager of Legacy Medical Supply. So, welcome to our show, Cousin Baby Hufana Ablan. Thank you, Amy. Uh, thanks for having me in here, and you're always looking great and fabulous program. I think it's in the blood, Cousin. Good morning. Well, we um, want to thank your um, willingness to come and help us with the empowerment. I know that you've done a lot to uh, serve our community, not only in the Filipino community, but also in our political community. So tell us about Baby Hufana Blan. Well, thank you, Amy. Well, Baby Hufana, the only baby in the state of Hawaii, that's always been my introduction to my name. Well, when I came here in 1977, <coughs> I look around and who are the organizations in this community, and uh, I involved myself, and as well as in healthcare because I need to help people as well. So, La Union Circle of Hawaii was founded by our auntie Hani Corpus Guron, and also with Dr. Marcelino uh, Avicilia, together with Dr. Linda uh, Aquino. That was in 1975, and this time, this is the 43rd year anniversary that we have to be uh, celebrating, and also the selection of our Mrs. Hawaii Filipina International mm -hmm. and the Mrs. Hawaii, uh, Mrs. La Union Hawaii International, Mrs. La Union Hawaii Philippines. Mm -hmm. That is our, the highlights of our event on November 24. Looking back, talking back about La Union Circle, La Union Circle was founded to, um, to bring in the people that came from the province of La Union mm -hmm. and be um, the, the point of informative, infra um, to give information to all our people, mm -hmm. what's happening back in our province, make sure that we inform our Kababayan in here, the, the growing um, um, business and as well as the uh, enrichment of all the people that live in there uh, way back from World War II up mm -hmm. to now. And uh, amazingly, mostly people in La Union, they are involved themselves in politics as well as in health care. Only few went to uh, teaching, which is education. Mm -hmm. but. La Union focused mostly on politics, healthcare, and business. Well, that's keeping up with the uh, tradition of the Ortega family cousin. You know, they are known as the oldest political, uh, if I may use the word dynasty, because uh, we're known for our political clout yes. or uh, power. And we're so proud to carry and extend the name. So uh, I'm an Ortega, so I don't mind hearing about the, the Ortega family. Uh, to help us with enriching people's lives and also empower other people's lives. So I'm happy to hear that. Well, you're right, Cousin Amy. That's why I'm so proud to be your cousin, because the Ortega's family is, you know, is the most uh, organized and helpful politicians in the province of La Union. It goes to generations, like mm -hmm. it started from the governor, mayor, congressman. It's all, and even on the board of um, board of uh, directors and mm -hmm. the city council, all their children, from their grandparents to their children and grandchildren, mm -hmm. they involve themselves in politics. Why? Because they want to bring in the people together to help the people as well as uh, 
we call it there's no poor, everybody's equal. Oh, that's so, great. So they bring, they, you know, they, they bring in, they hire the people mm -hmm. that lives in La Union to work in the city, municipality, as well as in the capital. That's why when I went home mm -hmm. uh, last year, I was surprised that uh, the vice governor over there is my barcada. We all went to school together. And then the new governor now is very young. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, Governor Patcoy Ortega. And all the employees at the Capitol were my high school mm -hmm. classmates, as well as my, you know, childhood um, playmates. And I'm so happy to see them mm -hmm. there. And that is the Ortega. They bring in all the people, make sure that La Union is peaceful to live in, make sure that La Union is clean, and that's what we are happy and so proud that I am a daughter of La Union. Okay, so we know about their power uh, in politics. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, what they do to share their blessings with others. Um, how are they uh, helping, uh, especially the poorest of the poor? Uh, do you know of anything in ex extension of La Union Circle of Hawaii? What are we doing as far as uh, helping the children get educated and uh, also help them to live, uh, to live their dreams? Oh, okay, thank you for asking that. Well, La Union Circle of Hawaii was formed, as what I said from the beginning, to give more um, information mm -hmm. as well as to help the needy. We give mutual aid, and if there's any calamities, mm -hmm. we help. With the help of the um, provincial uh, government um, officers of La Union, which you know, the whole family mm -hmm. of the uh, Ortega and also the Nisi and Gualberto, they, uh, we, the La Union Circle of Hawaii, we extend our mission which is we give scholarship. That's over important, here, yes, uh, continuing education. Yes, mm -hmm. Hawaii is, over here in America, it's so easy to get a scholarship, as long as you have the brain easy. Mm -hmm. But we need to help out the needy, you know, to, so we do the fundraising, and the, the, the officials, governments in the Philippines, they do come and, always acknowledge our effort mm -hmm. working. So if we have an event, they always come to be our guest speaker to make sure that we, the La Union people here in Hawaii, are also acknowledged back home, mm -hmm. that our working effort, our we, we love to help people, the students, because we believe, and I do believe myself, that the young ones, the youth, will be the, our future. Mm -hmm. And they have their dreams. They have hope. So we have to help them to fulfill their dreams and their hope to believe on. Well, uh, we know that uh, education is one of the most important gifts that we can pass on to uh, our future generation, especially for our children and uh, the young leaders, uh, the youth especially. So I'm really happy, cousin, that the Gonglo is the La Union Circle of Hawaii that is the one who 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 is the one but with your effort, with the effort of La Union Circle and all the members and the staff, uh, the, our will to continue our mission will uh, live on uh, as a legacy. Yes, Cassian, because when it started by Annie uh, Gurun Corpus and then took over by um, Uncle Jesse Florendo, mm -hmm. see, our founders now, as once they pass away, their, you know, their leadership being a president, it passed on to the next, uh, who's elder to elder, elderly in mm -hmm. our organization, right? So my sister Carlotta Ada took over also the president uh, title and leadership of this organization. Mm -hmm. She stayed for 15 years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, 15 <laughs> years. And only in 2013 mm -hmm. that she passed on to Conrad Valdres. Valdres, yeah. So Conrad, Conrad Valdres now is our current mm -hmm. president. 
and my dear cousin. Mm -hmm. From then up to now, I'm always the, being vice, the president. vice president, which I love it. I enjoyed uh -huh. it because you know why? I always help the president and all the members and officers of this organization. That's why I love to invite all the sons and daughters of La Union to mm -hmm. please come back. If, you know, because only few of us now left. All the elderly pass away. So I'm trying to bring in all the children and their grandchildren mm -hmm. to, to unite us again, to help us so we can, the more Ma the more uh, um, members to come in, the merrier, right? We have to be proud daughters and sons of La Union so we can be helpful more to the mm -hmm. youth, to the students, and not only that, to the people back home that in need, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, their health care needs or financial needs, we can be helpful to them. And that way, nothing is going to be left behind. Everybody live the um, happiest and the enjoyment life as we live. Mm -hmm. So um, when we come back from our short break, we want to talk more about the specific projects that uh, you may have in mind as far as uh, continuing to help uh, empower the people of La Union as well as the members of La Union Circle of Hawaii so they, that they will continue their quest to uh, share their blessings with others. Uh, for instance, in uh, my barrio where I grew up in Lawag, uh, we support six school districts. Uh, among them are Cabeza and also Amarosa schools, uh, which help to also further their education. Um, you know, nakalala hindi gito yung obing siempre masapul ng ikanta itigundaway tatapno agtultuloy ng detay ipakat dati kinala inda, and then they will be able to continue uh, that trend and also. Um, give the gift that keeps on giving, which yeah. is education. So very, very important that I we know. leave that legacy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, we're going to take a quick break here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. And we want to thank you once again for being with us. We are here weekly, every Tuesday, and we go on live at 12 noon here on Think Tech Hawaii. We will be right back after these messages and again, we thank you for joining us today. We'll be right back. Minasan konnichiwa. Think Tech Hawaii ga Nihongo de otodake suru. Konnichiwa Hawaii no Nihongo hosou no host Kunisue Yukari desu. E kakushu getsuyoubi no 2 kara otodake shite imasu. ニホンゴコミュニティハワイの日本語コミュニティに便利なお助け情報ニュースなどをゲストをお招きしてお届けする番組です。こんにちはハワイ。各週の月曜日2時から是非皆さん見てください。ホストの国瀬ゆかりで
nga makatonoy iti nangat ngato nga kadsaaran iti adal window education. And I'm happy to hear that La Union Circle of Hawaii is doing just that through the scholarship program that you are now offering. Yes, so mm -hmm. let's talk more about uh, the mission of La Union Circle of Hawaii and what can we ask the members to uh, do to contribute to the success. Okay, that's a good question. Okay, our mission is always now focused on the education. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of students now that uh, graduated and for the past three years, we don't have anybody that we can support because uh, nobody submitting names or bringing in mm. their pool or children if they, you know, qualified to get the scholarships. Mm -hmm. So at this time, um, we have the Mrs. La Union Hawaii and the uh, international and the one also for the Philippines. We are starting this again, so the, our Mrs. La Union Hawaii is very young. Mm -hmm. She's only in the 30s. So hopefully she will help us mm -hmm. bring in the younger, uh, the young and daughters, uh, son and daughters of La Union, mm -hmm. so we can be more helpful with their effort we can help, they can help us mm -hmm. and bring in more members to our organization because the more people to work together, mm -hmm. we, we can accomplish um, bigger and greater bigger, things. Bigger, yeah. yes. And, uh, and we are so thankful for all our sponsors because without them, mm -hmm. we cannot really um, make that much uh, financial to give in, to give away to our students. Mm -hmm. But then our, um, we, we as uh, members, we have this so-called um, mission to fulfill, mm -hmm. to help. But being a member, you also have a responsibility mm -hmm. to hold on Uphold. in order to fulfill our mission. Okay, as a member of this organization, you have you can be a lifetime member, mm -hmm. and it's not too expensive. Okay. With that lifetime membership, you can have your mutual aid assistance mm -hmm. if something happened to you. And at the same time, if you have children or grandchildren mm -hmm. that are qualified for the scholarship program, you can just submit, and we will give that opportunity to your children or grandchildren. But you, as a member, your responsibility is to help us invite, if we have an event, mm -hmm. invite people, bring them in for the dinner um, events. And if we have fundraising, mm -hmm. help us to sell. So whatever proceeds for that uh, fundraising comes out, it goes to the education. Mm -hmm. And that is very simple. And just attend once a month, Every I mean, last Saturday of mm -hmm. the month is our meeting. Whether there is an agenda or not, it's just fellowship. We just get together, talk stories, mm -hmm. and get to know more, and find out what's happening back home. It's, it's very a good way to connect and also to communicate. Yes, and it's very simple. Mm -hmm. And we are so proud to say that we have a lot of students that have all their bachelor's degrees. Mm -hmm. And in fact, some had, you know, master degrees. But with this organization, we collect, we only um, uh, promise to pay the four years degree. And that's it. Okay, well. So it's so simple. So that's please a, that's come a great start. and join yeah. us. Yeah, I know that the Lalonian Circle of Hawaii was also involved in restoring the library at one point. Uh, can you tell us about that? Because oh, yes. The library is like the uh, meeting house of all knowledge, right? So yes. tell us about that. Oh, thank uh, that. you for asking mm -hmm. that. The La Union National High School Library, library is located in San Fernando. Mm -hmm. And it so happened that in 2010, it was burned. Mm -hmm. So we, the La Union Circle of Hawaii, as well as the alumni of the La Union National High School, being the president for plenty of years, mm -hmm. we really work hard, incorporate with the La Union Circle of Hawaii and the La Union National High School uh, Alumni Association. Mm -hmm. we, do, we did the fundraising, and we call out all the alumni 
to bring in donations, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we are so happy that now, the one story library that we had, it became now two stories. Wow. And uh, because we want to own that library, the alumni, mm -hmm. it was funded by the Alumni Association. Association. So we just want the, uh, the government officials to mm -hmm. assist us. Mm -hmm. so that's why uh, the ceremony, all the officials, government officials mm -hmm. came and acknowledged the effort of the alumni that we did. Because mostly um, alumni of the La Union National High School were engineers, architects, mm -hmm. doctors, and you know some and mostly businessmen and educators. So we're so happy that those engineers and architects are the one that really work hard to fulfill the dreams of having that two stories library. library yeah. So we welcome all of you, whether you're from La Union or you know from the north or from the south, mm -hmm. west and east, you can come. You can use our library at the La Union National High mm -hmm. School located in San Fernando, La Union, and everybody will welcome you there. Mm -hmm. And we thank all our government officials, the Ortegas, the Nisi, the Gualbertos, because they are also part of that um, uh, library, whether they put in money or not, mm -hmm. which they did. They give also donations, but merely as uh, you know, all the alumni did it, as well as our La Union Circle of Hawaii. Yeah, I'm happy to hear, cousin baby, that uh, the alumni stepped forward and generously donated so that the library could be restored and um, even bigger mm -hmm. than the, the actual building that unfortunately was burned down in 2010. So mm -hmm. we want to commend all of, all of the members, especially the alumni, for uh, stepping out of the square and helping and continuing to share the blessings. Mm -hmm. You know, the Gita Library is the center of Adal. Uh, ag yes. digiti uh, masorsoro tay jay um, ag balin nga uh, day tay paka sagapan tayo ka digiti nan dumadumang knowledge you know that's all part of the power and yes. uh, it's all part of the bigger picture to empower all of us and also to uh, educate us mm -hmm. uh, so that we are prepared to uh, compete or go out into the workforce into the uh, the world the bigger world so we are happy to hear that agtitinulong dagitay kailyan tayo kaya maki gamayda iti adong trabaho wano dagitay kasapulan tayo tatapnon agbalaygi iti panagduras iti la union and happy to hear that cousin. That's why we need more computers. And That's books. another. Yes. Yeah. We sent out five uh, boxes of books in the mm -hmm. Philippines last year, but and also mostly computers. Computers. The one that needs because now everything is high tech. Yeah. Yes. So well, nobody... that is the way of the future. You know, yeah. uh, if you're not computer tech, you're not of the world. So. Yes. nga mayat nga agdonar technology, modern technology, lalo lalo iti computer. Tawagin yun ni baby. Tatap non adumbet iti maipa ramanyo wano makairanod kadigito yung adung yo. So how could they be a part of uh, the donation? Well, um, okay. Since uh, they already completed the books program, now we do uh, we're doing the computer, yeah. Mm -hmm. So no daman may donar yo, kasman we no kaya yo gumatang the computer mm -hmm. na ited yo. We uh, you know we are willing to accept that, and we're gonna be so thankful. So mm -hmm. either way, whatever uh, you know, whatever easier for you mm -hmm. to donate. It's either money, computer, or whatnot. And uh, going back to the legacy medical supply, mm -hmm. Gayem, ever since in I was in healthcare for 40 years, we've been giving out in La Union mm -hmm. well chairs and also those kind of respiratory stuff. If, the getay para asthma, mm -hmm. yeah, a machine and stuff like that, we give out. So La Union Circle is always, always there to help out. Kasi the Gigida Duma, they don't have enough money to see the doctor. Mm -hmm. So all they're gonna do is go to the clinic, and uh, we have a clinic over there. Um, 
in, the one in charge is Dr. Uh, Rila, uh, Rilio Rasa, mm -hmm. Goody, we call him Goody, Dr. Goody, and he helped our Kababayan because he has all those machines in there. Mm -hmm. We give them those disposable uh, tubings so they, so they don't have to be sharing this tubing. They right. share only the machine, oh, well, but well, well. they have their own tubing. Mm -hmm. So, and then if we have also those kind, you know, Tylenol, just for, you know, pain reliever, pain, yeah. they can just go out there, mm -hmm. vitamins, and ask Dr. Godi Rilurasa because all our donations from La Union mm -hmm. is all directed to the clinic in San Fernando. Yeah. Okay, so who could they call? Uh, could they you can give call? a number yeah. uh, so that the uh, people will know yeah. who to reach out to? You can always reach out Baby Hufana Ablan. It's either my cell phone at 753-5616, 753-5616, or you can call Legacy Medical Supply at 312 1632. You know, if you need all your medical equipments and mm -hmm. supply, Legacy Medical Supply is always there for you. We are participating with all the insurance, Medicare and Medicaid. Mm -hmm. And we are very helpful also with other organizations, especially with La Union Circle of Hawaii. Legacy Medical Supply is always going to be there to support them in health care as well as education. Kasi uh, Cousin Amy, mm -hmm. lagi jay anak ko, they name it Legacy because they want it as baby's legacy. My children, so yes, my children are also in, in uh, health care. They are nurses and medical technologists, mm -hmm. so they can be helpful and be informative. So, gagayim king kakabsat, tagala union, please come. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we want to wrap up our show. We have uh, less than a minute to wrap up our show. I want to thank you personally and, of course, all the members, um, the alumni of La Union Circle of Hawaii for uh, helping Titi Pinagdoroas Iti La Union. And we want to thank you personally for uh, sharing your blessings with others. And uh, thank you, Cousin Baby, for coming. Oh. Thank you very much for all the help of KPRP. They've always been there for us, whether University of the East, whether La Union Circle of Hawaii, whether La Union National High School of Hawaii, KPRE, owned by my cousin, Amy Ortega Anderson. And with that, mga kababayans, um, we say maraming salamat po. Uh, mabuhay, we thank you for joining us for another episode. And, uh, you know, go out there and make a difference. We uh, will continue to uh, live our fivefold mission. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and empower you. Maraming salamat, mabuhay, and God bless. God bless. I love you, cousin.